So in the junior search here, you could be asked to prove any one of five theorems. They're theorem 4, 6, 9, 14, and 19. So I'm going to put a series of five videos together, talking you through each of the theorems. What I'd recommend for you to do is to not try to take anything down first time around. Watch the video, pay attention to it. Second time around, take down the video. Uh, take down the content from the video uh, and third time around then looking at your own notes try and make sense of each of the steps and how you go from one step to the next step students always ask as well how would the question be asked this is how the question would be asked you'd be asked to prove the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees you'll be given a section that says given and then you will have to write in a triangle ABC with angles 1, 2 and 3 so you could call it, you could call the triangle anything. You could call it any points you want. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, um, anything at all. You could call the angles anything you want. I just think A, B, and C are the easiest ones to work with. There will then be a section that says to prove. In here, you want to restate essentially what was asked. You want to prove that the angle 1 plus the angle 2 plus the angle 3 equals to 180 degrees. So you fill in this. Now these lines here, they mean the measure of. Okay, important to include. So it says the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the, me plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. There will be a section for construction, what you would draw on your diagram. So what you want to draw in is a parallel line. Construct a line parallel to BC, so parallel to this. And we're marking in that it's parallel by including the arrow. Uh, parallel to BC that passes through A. And we want to mark in our angles 4 and 5 also. Again, you could call them anything you want, but if we're going 1, 2, and 3, 4 and 5 make sense to include. Last step then, the proof. Well, what do we know? We know for a fact that the angles here... That's the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 5 is 180 degrees. And you must include this statement because they're supplementary angles or it's a straight angle. What else do we know? Well, we can spot, because this is parallel to this, we can spot a Z shape. And the Z should make you think of alternate angles. Z going with Z reminds you of the alphabet, or reminds me of the alphabet. And I go, well, what's at the end of the alphabet is Z, what's at the start of the alphabet is A, so I get an alternate angle out of that. So Z reminds me of the letter A, and I get alternate angles from that. On the other side, then, I also get a Z shape. So here, down to here, and I get a Z shape. So I know 3 is going to equal to angle 5, because they are also alternate angles. Final step then is to replace the angle 4 with the angle 1. So f the angle 1 plus the angle 2 and replace the angle 5 with the angle 3. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degrees. That's the question done. Nice to include QED at the end. You don't have to. So uh, it's Latin standing for quad erat demonstratum or what was asked to be proved and just shows the examiner that you're finished the question. So if I were you, I'd uh, go back now and take down each of the steps of the proof and then watch it one more time to try and understand each of the steps. And then over the next, well, however long you have between now and the exam, if you wrote that out once a week, every week, you would absolutely know it But come exam time. It's one of the ones that you really don't want to miss out on. Uh, make sure to watch the other four videos, so they will cover uh, Theorem 6, 9, 14, and 19. And again, follow the same process with them. Hope's helpful.